Hey gamers, today we're going to look at Macroscope. Let's check it out. Setup for the game is extremely easy. Once you set up this thing, you put this thing together here, um, it's not as hard as it looks actually. And once you set it up, it's gonna be very easy setting up the game. You'll just put this out, put these little tokens here and cover these little holes over here, over whatever uh, paper that is. Uh, each player is gonna start with two yellow gems. There are also blue gems in the game. They're account worth uh, 10 points each. And you have your little round tracker here, and your rounds are gonna go 10 rounds. And the gameplay is very simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna roll these two die, and then you're gonna have the option to choose a five or a six. As you see, these are all numbered up here. So I would remove, let's say, a five right there and a six right there. And I'll move this up so that you can see it just a little bit better. Now at this point, uh, the player who's picking it can guess what the picture is. If they do not know what the picture is, uh, they can pass the dice to the next player. They will get uh, a yellow gem for each open opening they made. Now, they don't have to remove both. If the next player was a go and they were to roll a three and a two, they could remove this three and this and say, oh, I may want to guess right now. I think I know what it is. If they don't, they can remove the two. Now, at any time, when it's that other player's turn, another player may say, wait a minute, stop. I want to guess. And what they would do is they would give that current player two of their yellow gems and then say, okay, I'm gonna guess it. But before they guess, you have to count up all the little covered holes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This guess would be worth eight points. So then you're gonna put these back. It doesn't matter what order you put them in. And you're gonna put all these back covering the holes because you don't wanna reveal the next one underneath there. And the guy goes, I think this was a lawn chair. Now, if he gets it wrong, he's gonna lose eight points. If he doesn't have eight points, he's gonna go down to zero. But if he gets it right, he's gonna make eight points. Let's see what it is. Hey, it is a lawn chair. So he gets eight points. That one's set over the side, and then we start again. Dice go to the next player, and it starts over. Now, anytime you roll some dice numbers that are not indicated on here, let's say I rolled a four, yet both of the fours were already picked on this one. Well, in this case, I would have to pick a five, but my four could be wild. It could be any one I wanted. Now, the game keeps going until you get to 10 rounds. At the end of the 10 rounds, you count up your gems, and whoever has the most points wins. Final thoughts, what do I think about the game? Well, surprisingly, this is a lot of fun. This is a very fun game. We played this game several times when it came out, and then we decided to play it again. And then we decided to play it again. I, I, I you know, like I said, the theme is kind of weird. I don't get it. And it's very simple gameplay, but it's extremely fun. I can't explain it. It's fun trying to guess it before everything's removed. Sometimes you can have them all removed and no one knows what that is until we pull it out. And there are some older images too, like a rolling pin. I guessed a rolling pin in one of them, and all my nephews looked at me and went, what's a rolling pin? They didn't know what that was, but hey, I got me some big points because of it. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a neat game. Now, I see this for clearance a lot, and so I decided to pick it up because it was only like a couple of bucks, and I'll be honest, it's well worth it. It's well worth your money. You can get it for super cheap, and if you have kids, I think it's a fun game. I think it's a ga fun game for families. This is a game that I would even bring out in my adult gaming group. I would have no problem doing it because... I just think it's fun. Something fun about this game, trying to guess what that picture is and doing it one thing at a time. Sometimes you're paying those two um, you know, gems just so you can guess because you know what it is. Sometimes you're beating another player before they, before they get their guess in. And it's, it's satisfying to guess after only one or two guesses. You know, I think one time someone got one that was 10 guesses or something. He got 10 points because after he removed the second one, he took a guess at what it was and got it right. Couldn't believe that. Anyway, this is a great game. I love it. Stay in my collection. All right, gamers. That's all the time I have for now. Until next time, game on.